All right. Hello and welcome, everyone. Very special session today. And I want to start out with a little bit of a etheric bridge exercise for your 2024 goals. Raise your hand or, well, just write in the comments if you have an idea of what your goals or what you'd like to create for 2024. If you know what that is, just write in and let me know because we want to build an etheric bridge to that energy, to that energetic, to that reality for you today. So what I want to do real quick is take a moment and we're just going to put both of our feet flat on the floor. And you can, if you're in a safe place, just close your eyes. And begin right now to feel into what it is that you'd really like to create for 2024. And I want you just to pick one area, one area in your life, be it health, be it money, be it wellness, which is kind of like health, right? Be it sole purpose, just what is the area that you'd really like to create some shifts in and identify that area. Now what I want you to do is I want you to come up with a very definite measure of that. So if you say I'd like more abundance, then I want you to come up with a figure. I want you to say it's this much money every month or every six months. So come up with a figure. If it's health, then maybe you say, you know what? I'd like to be able to walk a mile. Or I'd like to be able to get out of the chair easier without pain, you know, or maybe I'd like to be able to do the things I used to do 10 years ago without the stiffness, without the limitation, whatever it is, it's okay. It doesn't need to be huge. It doesn't need to be some tiny little thing. It's whatever feels right to you. So once you've decided on that and just take a moment, then what we're going to do is we're going to start to build a bridge in the etheric to that. Now, here's the reason why this is important. Most people first don't know what they want. They just want something else, but they don't really know what they want as a definite, very specific thing. Second challenge is most of us don't create the bridge to that thing. So we're going to create that bridge today. And the bridge really is the steps in the etheric plane that we begin to take action on to create that output. In other words, it's the steps and also what we become inside to make that a reality. So let's begin. So if you've figured out what it is you really want for 2024, now let's just take a moment and I want you to imagine right now that you have attained it, okay? You have attained it. So feel the feeling of attaining this thing. Feel in your mind's eye the scene and feel in your body the scene of this thing actually coming to fruition. The desire being obtained. The result that you want actually happening. So feel that feeling. Feel it through your body. Great. Now I want you to create a short little snippet, almost like a little, you know, Instagram short or a TikTok short, right? Or a YouTube short. You've seen these little things where they're these little short little snippets they are like 15 seconds, right? Why is it that technology imitates consciousness? Well, because we should be doing this with our life, right? So little five second clip in your mind of a scene from your, it could be from your mind's eye looking out like your eyes are seeing what's going on or it could be like someone's taking a movie of you. But whatever it is, however you decide to do it, just make this little five-second scene and feel the feeling, feel the emotion of that thing actually coming to fruition. All right, here we go. Create the scene. Try to make it as real, as tangible as possible. Involve as many emotions as possible, as many of your senses, meaning what do you smell? What's the weather like? Are you inside or outside? Are you alone or with people? Is it daytime or nighttime? Are you feeling certain feelings in your body of excitement, euphoria? Do you pinch your belly and notice, oh, God, there's not, not much fat there anymore? Do you imagine yourself fitting into whatever size you want to fit into? Whatever it is, create this scene. And as you do, try to feel the feelings of this thing happening right now. Okay, now let's press the button to make it play again. We're going to press the replay button. Here we go again. 
feel it again. Let the feelings flood over your body. It's okay to get super excited. <laughs> when you were growing up, parents would say, don't have imaginary friends. Don't imagine things that don't exist, son. Well, I'm telling you, imagine things that don't exist yet, because if you do, they will exist in the future. That's how we call them into the present. We are bringing them from the etheric through the bridge to where we are now. So imagine it again. And every time you do, I want you to simply do this. I want you to touch your thumb and your index finger together. Yeah, you are doing great. Just like that. And every time you do this, just feel that feeling. Okay, so one time you go, okay, I'm going to touch it. And I feel this little scene unfolding and I replay it for five minutes. Wow, there we go. Okay, now we do it again. There we go. And then again, here we go. And then again, here we go. And we keep doing this. Do this at least, at least five times. The first time you ever do this, five times. And then what I want you to do is during the day, at least every couple hours or maybe every hour is just take five seconds. That's all it takes. Five seconds to just touch your fingers together. Imagine the scene. Imagine the movie. Feel the feelings. Bathe yourself in all of these amazing chemicals and phytochemicals of that thing happening. And then go back to your daily life. But you're going to do one other thing. You're going to create the bridge. We started. We started the framework of the bridge. We, we created the girders of the bridge. Okay. But now what we're going to do is you're going to write down. You're going to write down anything that comes to your mind as steps you need to take and cues and suggestions, hints from your higher self as to what to do next to bring this reality closer. And I promise you, if you ask, what do I need to do next? You're going to get tons and tons of ideas. You're going to get ideas that will fill up a notebook and you're going to get different ideas of things you can do, people to call, emails to send, books to write, things to create, places to go, things to do, people to see. And you're going to create that bridge from the etheric to what you truly want. Okay, so which one of you can repeat down below in the chat what the steps are, right? What are the steps? I'm going to repeat them one more time. Create the scene of something. Figure out what you really want, right? Create the scene for what you really want in your mind. Feel the feeling, feel the energy of that scene, five seconds coming about. Touch your thumb and index finger together and replay the scene, feeling it throughout your whole body. And then when you're done, you're going to write down exactly whatever steps you get that the universe is telling you, that your higher self is telling you that you need to do to make this scene a higher reality on your timeline because every action you take that is with inspiration makes it more and more possible that this reality happens you are bringing the probabilities down into one timeline and that timeline is absolute and your higher self your guides they want you to get there but we have to get into the frequency to where they can give us the guidance to make this reality happen. See, most of the time they're up here and we're like down here and we're just kind of like, ah, oh, so terrible. My life sucks. And they're like, no, I'm trying to tell you what you need to do. And you're like, and, and you may get this little glimpse. And you're like, ah, I shouldn't, I couldn't do that. That wouldn't work. That would be a failure. No, once you get up here, you're going to start to get, you open the channel, you build the etheric bridge. So, let me know how that works for y'all. I am super excited about y'all doing that. And for anyone that got it, hopefully you did. For any folks climbing on, um, we'll see what we do with it. I love it, Darius. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, thank you. I do this with every single thing. I'm telling y'all. Not kidding. It's one of the most powerful things you can do. 100%. Now, notice, notice. I'm not saying you just imagine it, you do nothing. In fact, that will get you nothing. You write down the steps and the cues from higher self source because you're going to get them and then you go and you take action, right? 
you make that phone call, you research that thing, you take that class, you become certified, right? You learn about marketing, you learn about sales. You learn, I, I know so many people who say, I don't have enough money. And I ask you, have you ever taken a class on sales? No, why would I do that? Well, I don't know. Because if you have something valuable you want to give to the world, you might want to understand how to communicate that value to other people. And that would be creating a bridge to abundance because once you start seeing things from the standpoint of being able to communicate, well, now you realize you can share in a much more effective way. And so we've got to create this bridge and it could be in all sorts of things, health, relationships, abundance, or anything else. So we're going to be creating a bridge um, today to thank you very much, Heather. Good job. Perfect. Well, if I ever put together a training on this, I'm going to use, I would love to use your beautiful write-up on this. That would be great. I love it. All right. Well, our guest today, Sharon Katsky, is with us. Let me welcome Sharon back to the call, and then we're going to slowly get started at the top of the hour. Hi, Sharon. How are you doing? Fabulous. How are you? Thank you for having me back. Oh, well, I'm always excited and honored to have great inventors and people that create new worlds with their ideas, their intuition, their thoughts. I mean, that's exactly what you did. So thank you. Well, I, I appreciate it. And I feel very grateful to be back. I hope everybody had a, a fabulous holiday. And I, I don't know, has it been a month already since we were here? I, that whole time's kind of a blur, but yeah. Yeah. And now's the time when the rubber meets the road and people are like, okay, I thought about this stuff for the new year. I would have liked to have done better for myself or taking care of myself and now we're here and so now we, we're gonna we're gonna do it we're gonna actually create what we wanted in 2024 right now in 2024 so good great uh, and i understand that you have a sore throat i do um i had so we had a call tuesday and my throat got much better during the call and I was amazed. And then it got worse on Wednesday, but apparently it's something viral. And today it's it's better, still it's not great. But yeah, if, if you have anything you wanna share on that when we start the call, uh, I'd love to go through all sorts of protocols like immune boosting, pain, uh, COVID protocols, because they even said it could be a form of COVID, by the way. And so, you know. <laughs> of course they did. <laughs> well, and then I played it I played it with the nurse. And she's like, what do you want to get a COVID test? And I was like, okay, let, riddle me this. So if I get a COVID test, what are you going to give me? Well, there's nothing I can give you. It's like the common cold. So I was like, then why would I want to get a test? Oh, I don't know. I was like, okay, well, then yeah, I have, I have a cold, them. basically. <laughs> so, yeah, well. Um... It was fine. Um, who knows? But actually, I'm, I'm feeling better. But yes, I want to go through that. And any other areas, because I want to ask all of you, what is it that you need help with? And we can pick Sharon's brain and she can give us some protocols for some different things. Because I know there's a lot of stuff that she's able to do. And heck, I might send you all some, some light energy too. We, we may definitely do that. That'll be fun. Great. So, so Sharon, we're going to start in like about a minute. And uh, if everyone, um, raise your hand if you've got questions for Sharon. Also, send in your questions your comments, your <laughs> questions. Um, we're going to talk a lot about light and some of what is behind all of this. And if anything you get out of today, I think you're going to get the truth about how your body is much more than just like a, you know, this meat suit that we're carrying around. It's, it's this potentially biophotonic holographic light vessel that resonates, that vibrates, that illuminates in certain frequencies, wavelength patterns, resonance, light, and much more, and that we can donate light to this body and bring it back into harmonic balance. And we're going to be talking about all of that. So let's just take a moment and um, sit in gratitude here for anything that you are grateful for today. Just bring to mind anything you're grateful for. 